Kuna Mahoma. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a plastic bottle and a Lego man to create a very simple experiment. So if that seems like your sort of thing, stick around and I'll see you in the video. <laughs> So, in this video we're going to be doing a really, really simple experiment based around water pressure. Um, now, I don't want to give too much away because there's going to be something at the end for you. So, all you're going to need is a normal plastic bottle, and this could be any plastic bottle. I found that the ones with like a Coca-Cola bottle size cap work the best. This is a vinegar bottle, it uses the same size cap, but they, they work fine as well. Um, and you're going to need a Lego man. Now, you can't use just any Lego man. You need a Lego man with one of the old fashioned heads on it. Now, if you're a Lego person, uh, you know what I mean. The newer Lego uh, heads have like little holes on them, um, and that was a safety feature that they added um, around the early 2000s, I think. Uh, so if someone accidentally swallowed a Lego head by mistake, the uh, air can still pass through so they don't choke. Um, but we want an old school one like this. Hopefully you've got one. And if you don't have an old school one like that, don't worry, you can get one of these, one of the newer Lego men, and then just put like um, a hat attachment on them. So like a, a, hair, a hair or a cap or a helmet or something like that. Because all you're trying to do is create an air bubble that's trapped inside his head, okay? I just find that this one's the simplest because it's not as likely to fall off when we stick it inside the bottle, okay? Now the next ingredient that we need, the only other thing that we need in this is to fill this right to the very, 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 very top with water. So we've got our bottle here and it's filled right to the very, very top with uh, water and my Lego man is inside. Now you want to make sure that the Lego man floats when you put him in and it might take a little bit of tweaking and adjustment over time to get the experiment to work. But basically what you want to do is, like I said, fill it to the very top, stick your Lego man inside while you're filling it up, that helps. And I've, just as a little, as a pro tip, um, get the Lego man to have his arms above his head um, and that'll help him get into the bottle a little bit better. I found that if you have them down, he, you, you can't squeeze him into the bottle. Anyway, now what you want to do is make sure that the cap is on really, really tight. Um, it's always good to do this like in the bathroom somewhere where it's, you know, if an accident, if the bottle the cap explodes off for some reason. Um, you, you get water everywhere, at least it's in the bathroom in a wet area, so that's okay. Um, and what you want to do is just squeeze the bottle as hard as you can. Ready? Ooh. See, this is where we need to do some adjustment. So. He's too buoyant at the moment. So we're going to see if I can get some of that air out of him. There we go. So. Might have. There we go. Ooh. I'll get back to you. This is what I mean. You, you might need to do some adjustments. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I did some tweaking, and the trick is, is if they don't, if if you, when you squeeze the bottle, if your Lego man doesn't sink, take them out of the bottle, uh, take their legs off, fill their their uh, torso cavity with a little bit of water, put the legs back on, give it a good shake, and then stick it back in the bottle. So this is what we do. Squeeze the bottle as hard as you can, and he sinks. Let go, and he floats back to the top. Mmm, pretty cool, eh? Now, what I wanted to happen at the end is, I'm asking you, the viewer, what do you think is actually happening when I do that? Why is the Lego man sinking when I squeeze hard? And why does he float back to the surface when I let go? So I'm posing that question to you, and I want you to put what uh, your hypotheses, uh, your educated guesses, into the comments line below, 
and then in the next video we're going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to let you know what, what the actual scientific principle is that's going on here. Now this is quite a cool experiment to do. If you apply just the right amount of pressure you can get them to stay in a certain area of the bottle. It's kind of fun to play with. <laughs> but anyway, for now, like I said, hypotheses in the comments line below. And from me and Mr. Lego Diver, it's Kaki Te Anō, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Ashley's Place.